myself in another place to find myself in another place deciding in under 48 hours, I'm about to sit my final ever written exams here at Cambridge after six years of medical school. These exams are the culmination of the whole six years of knowledge and there's a fair bit to learn. So let's go. After my morning routine, I start my day with a wintry morning walk in and around college to catch those morning rays and stretch my legs. Then I rustle up a nutritious and delicious breakfast of yoghurt and berries. And I'm also packing some along with me to the library so I can make sure that I stay fully snacked out all day and don't feel tempted by crisps or anything. Then I get ready to head to the Emmanuel College Library after drinking a little bit of tea to warm me up. On arrival at the library, I return a book on public health and epidemiology, which was the topic of my last exam. I sit down in the Fane room, which is the main room in the Emmanuel Library, with one of my medic friends, and we get stuck into some practice questions on PassMed, which is my favourite online question bank for medicine. At around 12.30, we head to lunch at the College Hall. Can I get the turkey and mushroom pasta, please? We collect some cutlery and fill up on water to stay hydrated and keep our brains nice and alert for studying. Today on the menu there's some interesting fractal looking broccoli which I'm told is a special type called Romanescu. So since I have no other option I do give it a go and it's actually alright, it tastes a little bit like a cross between broccoli and cauliflower. We sit down and chat a little bit about different medical specialties and where we might want to go with our careers and lives in the future. Then we head back to the library to continue the study grind. I have a mini snack of some fresh raspberries and blueberries that I packed earlier. Fun fact, along with being very tasty, blueberries are actually proven to help boost memory. So I'm hoping this will give me the edge that I need to be able to pass these exams. Thanks to it being the middle of December, it starts to feel pretty frosty in the Fane room and my fingers start to go distractingly stiff, which is compromising my productivity and study efficiency. So we decide to head upstairs to the penthouse room, which is at the very top of the library where I'm praying it'll be a little bit warmer. This is why I don't think exams should ever be in the winter because at the very least when they're in the summer, you can go outside and enjoy the sunshine. But at the very least, the view is beautiful with the winter sun. And as a consolation prize, there's a quality selection of distractions available on this floor. Walking around college is one of my absolute favourite things to do as a study break. So I have decided to go for a little walk just to get some fresh air. There are ducks that live in the college grounds in and around the pond, which may or may not have been a major factor in me choosing to apply to this college. So I go and hang out with the ducks for a little while before heading back to the library. After a few more hours of studying, I decide to call it a night at around 9pm, so I head back home. So today I went through a couple of timed like mock tests in a way, just short ones, so not like a full length exam, but just like maybe half an hour, 30 questions in 30 minutes kind of thing, and then just go through the answers. And so I went through a couple of those, and I'm feeling pretty tired now, so I'm going to head to bed. I'm just making a pot of chamomile tea, and drifting up. I feel weirdly calm and unbothered but maybe this is what six years of continuous medical school exams does to the person. <laughs> this is the examination entry confirmation that we get before every single set of exams of official Cambridge exams we have at the university. So currently this weekend the stuff that I'm more working on is for the next two exams which are both the SBA exams which stands for single best answers. So basically we get a multiple choice question paper with five options as answers and we have to pick the single best answer supposedly. I pick up some brunch and cutlery at the college hall and I scan my college card to pop it onto my college bill which we pay at the end of every term. 
I bumped into a friend at brunch and we got chatting and it was very nice and relaxing. Uh, but now I am going to crack on with my studying. I do enjoy a spot of productive procrastination, so of course I firstly have to vacuum and tidy my room a little bit. And then naturally I play some hype music by Megan Thee Stallion, which was recommended to me by my good friend Ruri. After a couple of hours studying in my room, I head up to the library penthouse to continue the study sesh. I do some more practice questions, and if there are any drug classes that I'm unsure about, I look them up in the mini textbook called the Top 100 Drugs. I also do a little bit of journaling and write down some thoughts to clear my head on the day before the exam. So now I'm heading back to a friend's birthday. It's his birthday today, and we're organising a bit of a surprise for him uh, with like a cake and everything. Even though some of the biggest exams of my time at Cambridge are tomorrow morning, I think at the end of the day the things that we remember are the people that we meet along the way and the memories that we make with them. So I feel like it's really important to still make time to celebrate with friends. So, back to work. At 5pm I head back to the library for a final dash of studying and I snack on some blueberries to reward myself for returning to my workstation. I have a video call with some friends as a break, accompanied of course by a friendly cutout Dalek in the break room. At 7pm I eat my final pre-exam supper of carrots, chicken and Brussels sprouts. Okay, so I just got back from the library and I got some blueberries as well for good luck tomorrow morning for my breakfast and I'm just going to pack my bag so the night before an exam I always like to prepare my pencil case with various pens lots of backup pens my examination entry and also a water bottle of course all that's left to do is get a good night's sleep so I'm gonna wind down and get ready for bed myself a very strong coffee. I don't want to get too much fluids in the system so I don't need to go to the loo during the exam but I also want to get that caffeine to pick me up. The sun is just about rising now so I am just about getting started on all this stuff with the berries and my laptop is right here. You can't see in the shot but um, yeah and then I'm gonna dash to the exam so I'll see you at the exam. <laughs> I pop in my earbuds to listen to some more hype music on the way to the exam. I find that listening to some properly sassy rap gets me in the mood for the exam and helps me to overcome any anxious jitters I get in the couple of minutes before starting the exam. Here's a cheeky sneak peek into the exam hall, which is all ready for us to head in imminently. And all of us medical students are just chilling outside and waiting for them to open the doors. It's finally time to head in, so we drop off all of our winter coats and several layers. So we just finished our first SBA, and so I'm just heading back to college now, grab some lunch, had a chat with my friends afterwards just to debrief the exam a little bit. but. Now it's time to get back to revision because there's another one tomorrow morning. Naturally, it is raining after the exam, classic British weather. So I say hi to the Emmanuel Ducks. And back home after the first exam, uh, it went okay actually. There were quite a lot of questions that I didn't know the answer to, but that's okay, I think, as long as you can eliminate and select. So overall, I'm, I'm happy it's over. Had a chat to some of my friends afterwards to debrief the exam. And I think we all agreed that there were quite a few questions that had an ambiguous answer. It's sort of, they often ask a question that doesn't have a single right answer, but it has a single best answer based on like clinical judgment. And they're trying to figure out how well you can judge the situation. Um, and this is where this whole elimination and selection comes into play very much so, because you can eliminate the obviously wrong ones and then just pick between the remaining answers that are possible managed to finish the paper at least and answer everything decently so fingers crossed I've got a pass. Then it's back to the beautiful Emma library. This time I head back to the Fane room instead of the penthouse as it seems they finally figured out how the heating works and that perhaps we would appreciate some warmth in the room. It's the night before my final exam, uh, my final final exam should I say and I'm just going to stop my bedtime routine as usual. 
so it is the morning of the final final exam and I am feeling actually really tired today so I'm gonna drink a bit of extra coffee. Oh, this is an exam worthy breakfast. If I'm honest I'm actually really struggling with motivation to stay focused on these exams. I feel like after six years of continuous exams at med school you just sort of I don't know you get a bit desensitized to all of them. But this is the last one the last written knowledge-based exam that I'm going to have during my whole time here in Cambridge, so I better take it seriously. So I need to step up and actually get committed to doing well on this exam. <laughs> time for the final sprint. And now we're heading into the exam hall for the very last time. So after it's all over, we head to the local spoons for some hard-earned lunch and drinks and just to unwind. So I just got home after going to spoons with all the rest of the medics in my year and I am finally closing all of my tabs. This is like the best feeling after an exam when you just close all of the tabs. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you found this vlog interesting or entertaining in some way. And as always, take care of yourself and I will see you in the next video.